All right, Knights of Apollo, welcome back to Middle Earth. We are playing Rise of Mordor. We've got a really good three versus two siege battle, and this is the settlement of Ker Andros. It is a beautiful settlement. I didn't even know this was possible. They have the classic white stone, the Gondorian white stone settlements, the architecture. It looks fantastic. So in today's scenario, we have two Gondorian armies. They are going to be trying to hold outnumbered by so many orcs. Uh, so it's going to be a tough fight for them. And of course, attacking, we have three armies from Mordor. So many orcs ready to take this settlement once and for all. This is a very strategic settlement for Gondor. If I remember correctly, it's a big trading city since it's like in a river, kind of surrounded by water. So it's kind of hard to attack. But anyways, let's jump in here and just show you the armies. Uh, so this is my force here. Uh, I am playing as Mordor. I've got... Uh, let me just go over the units we'll go to normal speed here uh just really quickly we don't have to go over everything i just want to get the, the detail look at these guys i can't uruk throng uh they look really cool look at those eyes look at that that's an orc eye uh let's see my archers i've got the uruk archers so pretty straightforward nothing too crazy got morgul's legion these guys are really good one of my best units in the army and then I also have the Orc Pillagers. These guys are cool. They got the big old makeshift axes. You know, it's like they just found metal laying around and made a makeshift makeshift weapon. Very cool. Classic Mordor style. I also have some Haradrim, like auxiliary forces, I guess you could say. Uh, nothing too special here. But, hey, it, I, I saw them. as like, they're kind of cheap. I'll bring them. Got an artillery in the back there, an onager, and uh, that's pretty much my army. My allies are all going Mordor as well, and they're bringing very similar forces. This, oh, actually, he's bringing Orc Bow Rabble. So these guys aren't as... Oh my god, look at this orc! It looks so good! Man, they have made such great progress. I know I just keep saying how awesome this mod looks, but I just can't get over it. Mordor begins the assault, and Gondor, if we look at their forces, they have a light defense in the outer walls. They're not holding the walls, but right behind them, uh, and they're going to rely on, uh, well, here's some Gondor swordsmen. These guys are pretty expensive. God, they look so good. They look so good. And then we've got, what else do we have here? Gondor sword militia. You can see it's their, it's definitely their... Uh, weaker troops that they're going to be using in a front line, which is really smart. Uh, usually I like to do that in defenses as well. Try to save your elite units, f you know, to keep them fresh for the final stand. And that way you're taking on tired enemies. And then here's some Ringlo, Ringlo Vale Men at Arms. I'm mispronouncing it. I'll just say Vale Men at Arms. They look cool. Very rugged. And then what do we have over here? I think we have some Gondor Spears. Really, the cool unit, the coolest of units, of all units, is right here. We've got the Fountain Guard. These guys are monsters. And you can see the enemy artillery already going in. Now, uh, someone in the comments, if you know, what exactly do, does the supply barrels do? Does that give you, like, more ammo? Like, I, I have no idea, but you can kill them. Which is what's happening here. We're going to take them out. Oh, Mamma Mia. They're all cheering about it. Man Flash. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like meat's back on the menu, boys. It's like, oh, okay. I haven't heard that one before. <laughs> oh, okay. That's classic. Classic. <laughs> what if you had that one orc, right? That's just like, he's like the, the totally normal guy. You know, that would be so, that would be a great, like, cartoon or sketch or something where you, you know you got the orc who's like meet back on the menu boys you know and the other one's like oh uh yeah i don't want to eat orc uh is there like chicken can we cook up some chicken today <laughs> you know like just so like human 
I don't know. That'd be pretty funny to me. Uh, but yeah, we are scaling the walls. There's not much um, resistance here. Like I said, they're they're kind of giving up the walls, letting us take it, and they're gonna fall back to the more secure area. And look how cool this gate is. They knocked this gate out of the park. Look at that. That's so Gondor right there. But it's currently being uh, being hit by the ram. I think a couple more hits and it's gonna crack open. The gates are no more than firewood now. Okay, come on. It can get there we go. Boom. I always love how the siege equipment just d just blows up there. I don't know. Until there's a lot of random random blowing up of stuff. Anyways, here's uh, the center gate that's already getting attacked. Uh, but it looks like the Gondor Sword Infantry, they're holding pretty well here. There's just a ton of orcs streaming in, trying to get into the fight. We're going to fly over to my side of the battle, where I've just now gotten onto the walls, setting in my orc warriors. There's a couple, this is random Gondorian up here. Oh no, there's a couple up here. I think he's, oh I see, he's probably attacking my unit who's partially down. And some of the units are running up the stairs. Some of the men are running up the stairs and fighting my orcs up here, which is great. But yeah, I am trying to run down from the walls into the city streets. And it's getting wild. I'm now attacking the gate over here, and the men are trying to hold back. This is the Veil Men at Arms trying to hold back my orcs. fight indeed now I am flanking around some units you see this unit here they're running down the stairs and I'm trying to help get through the gate by flanking we got some orc warriors but Gondor notices the flank and he is now sending in his pikemen there's the officer Been a little laggy like you will not flank our men That's probably going to break my orcs there. A nice little counter flank. Here's more of my orcs trying to go down the wall. And then in the center, we've got some fire arrows coming in. And the men of Gondor continue to hold this gate. We got some orc pillagers here taking on the Gondor swordsmen. Oh, a nice flank by Gondor. That was a good move right there. Some really good counter flanking by Gondor, trying to secure the streets, but this is not good for Gondor. Huge force of orcs have taken this gate and are now shifting over to help the other sides of the battle. This entire uh, section of Carandros has been, or Carandros, has been taken over. And look at all the arrows come in. The Gondorian archers opening fire. I think they're up on the second layer. Yes, they are. There they are. God, I love this. I love how they take cover. Oh, this looks so good. Mark your targets. Steady now. Just firing down. They look fierce enough for me. Looks though, aren't enough to They got a great view. Or maybe not so great view of the battle. 
fire. So as that's going on, you can see the blue units here are the orcs, and uh, we're starting to overwhelm them. We got some archers opening fire. <laughs> I don't know what they're doing here. I think they're trying to take out this barrel, but uh, yeah, you're not going to hit that. And instead, they burns his own ladder. Uh, back over on this side, I am starting to make progress through this gate. Got my orc pillagers leading the way against the uh, Gondor Spear Infantry. And look how crazy the uh, city streets are. Look at this guy. He just he's gone look at this orc. He's like he's like hey, what do we do about this guy? Man, uh, he's just sitting here breathing heavy. It's freaking me out, man. Just kill him. <laughs> Seriously, what is this guy doing? Oh, oh, it's like the orcs are messing with him. So Gondor does a great job over on this side. He's actually kind of pushed back my orcs. Thanks to the archer support and this great Gondorian infantry, uh, they are pushing back my men on this section of the wall. But it's not going to last much longer. My ally has some or uh, Uruk Throng who uh, all they need to do is charge in. But I guess he's letting me fight it out. But we've almost cleared the entire section of this uh, this fortress. We just have a couple small pockets of infantry to deal with. Nice little charge into the Gondor spears. Now, if I was Gondor, I'd be trying to evacuate as many men out of here as possible to fall back to the Fountain Guard. Now, get this. The Fountain Guard have been getting shot at by archers for an insane amount of time, and they've yet to lose a single man. Both units have 110 men. So, uh, yeah, these guys are tanky as hell. They're crazy tanky. And here comes my ally. He's finally sending in the infantry to help me out. Break through these lines. Gondor has actually reclaimed the gate with his warriors here, his big axes. on this side Gondor continues to hold the spear levy they have 73 kills oh sorry the camera's freaking out but it's only a matter of time it's only a matter of time until we break through I still have a lot of reserves still got some guards of uh teeth. I have the Morgul's legion I got another Morgul's legion I have all my archers, full ammo. Artillery is now moving forward. And I'm just gonna, I'm gonna drop some Hail Marys in, in the base and see if I can get some crazy hits with my artillery. And we do break the Axemen. And now that they have broken, we can flank around and attack these Gondor Spears. And honestly, guys, I think this is the last unit that's holding us back. Sick. The enemy's walls are down. All right, so we have begun the attack in the center position. This is going to be the challenging part. The beginning of the battle, that was easy, okay? Just breaking into here where there's so many streets, so many ways to flank around. But here, nah, this is going to be tough. Now we've got enemy artillery trying to fire at all our troops here. We're using fire arrows for cinematic effect. Still, look at this. Not a single man. Actually, no, some troops have died here, but I think 
It was from artillery. It takes giant fiery balls of justice to come in here and kill these fountain guards. They are insanely, disgustingly good. Look at how they're just covered in blood. But I'm still, I'm still fighting for my section. Now that, now that I've cleared this area, though, I'm gonna probably clean up what's left here. breaking we're killing the swordsman of gondor and then all that's left over here is the uh, veil men at arms and we're gonna sandwich them in and get some delicious man flesh So we have officially taken control of the first layer. Uh, we are trying to slice through a couple of units, but it's really not much. And oh my god, that artillery coming in hot. We are really trying to soften up these guys. Look at they still have 110. They're covered in blood. Not a man has fallen. And now they're using their pointy or <laughs> they're using their pointy sticks. Pointy they're pointing sticks. Now this unit's down to 99, but that's no that's still gonna be very difficult for us to break through. Oh my god. Imagine trying to fight this. And they're just gonna rack up kills. Turning the fire. Now they're sending in some swordsmen to help out. This brutal front line. And this is basically what they have left. It's not a lot, but it's definitely high quality. And that artillery is going to be a pain. Now I am moving up my forces because we have officially cleared out all of the first layer. And we're just kind of reorganizing our armies, getting them ready, setting up archers. And this is just going to be a big grind here. It is going to be a slaughter, mostly for our forces, because these fountain guard are ridiculous. Filthy cowards! Our allies are running! An absolute slaughter is going down and it is causing mass morale droppage mass routing morale droppage mass routing for the orcs and now I'm sending up some reinforcements and I'm gonna be honest at this point of the battle I was like telling my allies hey just be reckless we have a huge advantage look at that balance of power but the Fountain Guard completely changed the game. They still have 102 
men and they already have 324 kills this unit over here has 221 they haven't seen as much action but dang they are holding and archers are doing nothing to them just nothing Now we do have some axes who charge forward. We're trying to surround them here a little bit. Lots of enemy archer fire. Where's the uh, archers here? Let me let me check out the Gondor archers. Oh yeah, they've got a solid position, kind of firing over the the men of uh, the, the the fountain guard. Now we got artillery coming down. But yeah, imagine being one of these archers and being told, hey, enemies, there's a lot of them. Just fire over the fountain guard. Because you, you can't see them from here. You know, like, you can hear what's going on. You can kind of see some stuff. But you just got to fire over and hope that you're getting some kills. And this fight continues on. It's not helping that they're sending in some extra infantry uh, into the fight. We're not even reaching the fountain. It's almost as if they're giving the fountain guard a break. And look at that artillery. Uh, nearly, it, it could have been a lot worse. Nearly killing like dozens of troops there. I was going to say hundreds, but I think that's a bit extreme. Ferocious. Brave men of Gondor just desperately trying to hold on to this city. I think these are archers. Yeah, he sent in the archers who have no more ammo. More and more troops coming in. I think we're finally putting a dent into the fountain guard. As they are retreating 92 and 79 oh my god I just can't believe how little have died after this massive force has been charging in and that's all we could kill that's that's insane all right let's zoom out here it's a little it's a little framey because of all the troops in one area but just look at the chaos here just kind of looking at what we have in reserve we got a couple of units of infantry here and there. I've got all my archers. Uh, they've only just started firing their ammo. Uh, Gondor has a really solid position up here. Look at this. This is so good. Just like opening fire. There's so many targets to go for. Ready to fire. Oh God. That artillery getting very close to these archers. Ready to fire! So yeah, the archers trying to soften up our troops, but there's just so many of us. Oh, nice hit right there. Look at that. It killed so many Gondorians. Gondor is going full speed ahead with all their infantry and archers who used up all their ammo. An absolute slugfest right now. And uh, this is pretty much like all of their infantry. They still have, 
their fountain guard, but I think what they're doing is they're resting them because they are tired and they've been fighting a long time. So they're resting them and saving them for later in the battle. Cool. Oh, artillery still going in. This is such a big target for artillery. It is risky because you do risk hitting your own men. Uh, but, you know, we're orcs. We don't really care about our own men. Uh, and you can see that if we get a couple good hits here, we could cause a mass rout. Spicy. Archers still up here opening fire. They've got to be running low on ammo soon. Oh, this is so cool with the big tower in the background. Just trying to put down as many shots as possible. Intense battle going down. And the fight for the center is still going on. I've got a unit of uh, what is Uruk Throng in the fight. Now we've got, what are these? Are these Rangers? No, these are Hillmen. They're sending in Hillmen. Got some rubble floating in the, uh, the air there. Here comes more artillery coming in. Probably killing more orcs there than Gondorians. sending in some Morgul's Legion. Uh, it's time to send in the, the really good guys because we are struggling here and we're actually, okay, this is huge. This is a big moment in the siege. This little position here has been taken over because we killed the archers, they're breaking. So I'm now pushing up some infantry because I want to get behind Gondor's infantry because we got to cause them to break so I'm gonna shift these guys around here and then swing around kind of like a swinging door let's see if I can get a good charge off here this is a pretty depleted unit they're very tired they there they go charge we've got them surrounded that is one way of breaking through this position. It's mostly archers at this point, too. Who've used up all their ammo. And there we go. Even though my unit of swords broke there, uh, their archers are starting to break. And now it looks like the fountain guard are actually going back. No, no, no. They're going to set up here and defend this road to the town center. The fountain guard are the last stand. Uh, so I've decided to move up my artillery because it's only got a couple more shots left. So I want them to be able to, you know, make sure they hit those shots. Uh, I got some archers up on the walls. I got a lot of archers. I've got some more Mo Morgul's legion. I got my general moving up. Using some fire arrows to cause the enemy to break. An absolute slaughter is going on here. So we've killed the archers. And now we just have these solid forces of Hillmen. Not really that solid. And Gondor Sword Infantry.
fight. Gondor is putting up a hell of a defense. But my Morgul's Legion already has 43 kills. They've only lost four men. So the Morgul's Legion is kicking butt right now. And I think it's, uh, you know, we've been fighting for a long time. But I think the Morgul's Legion, along with my allies, Orc Pikes, are definitely causing a change in this battle. And we are going to finally get up this ramp and push Gondor further, you know, further back, closer to the town center. Still have yet to cause any breaking from Gondor. I think he just falls. Oh, I see. We're flanking around. I've got a unit of Uruk thongs. Throngs. Thongs? Orc thongs? <laughs> Ew. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to flank around and try to get behind the swordsman, which causes one of them to break. We got archers firing into this big blob of a mess. And this has become a real mosh pit. I mean, look at this. So artillery's coming down. They've been trying to shoot my artillery that's been setting up in the city. But they have not had any luck yet. And finally, guys, finally, the last unit holding the center has started to break. And Gondor still has a ton of archers. They've they've been doing a great job. They've they've got Athelian Rangers left. They've been doing a great job of keeping their archers like in reserve and making sure they have a ton of ammo, uh, which is going to make things difficult. And just kind of looking at their defenses, we got Fountain Guard. We've got more Fountain Guard. Uh, we lost an Allied General. But my plan here was to not attack the Fountain Guard. And that is why I'm sending up my Morgul's Legion to take on these uh, Gondor Spears. Ooh, Archer Fire coming down too. I'm really trying to break through here as quick as possible because I want to get behind the fountain guard. We do have archers once again firing at the fountain guard, just hoping we kill one of them. More artillery crashing down. Got my catapult set up. And there we go. We've finally broken through the spears. And now it's on to the next layer of infantry. This is Gondor swordsmen, a hundred of them. Very cautiously moving forward with my uh, Morgul's Legion. I've got 186 left, so I barely lost any of them. And they have 105 kills. These guys are saving the day. They're saving this battle. Now, on the other side, I have the other unit of Morgul's Legion. to get through there my ally is pushing through the center which i'm super glad he is because i certainly don't want to be fighting in the center not against the fountain guard look at nobody can make it to him they just die <laughs> they're insanely good insanely expensive So one of our allied armies have been destroyed. 
But that's okay. We still have a lot of reserves. I mean, it's it's getting really close. And both, I mean, both armies are getting very weak. I'm moving up my archers. And I'm going to use them to kind of focus down on the fountain guard. But the fountain guard finally are down to smaller depleted numbers. This one only 84. God. And I just want to break through. I moved up my general as well. This is a really good unit. But yeah, I just want to break through here. One of these positions so we can start attacking uh, the main uh, town center or even getting behind the fountain guard. But every time it looks like we're about to break through, they just keep sending up more and more reinforcements. Gondor did a great job of maintaining their men and like really holding them back in reserve uh, to make this such a grind and such a difficult battle to, to push through and, uh, you know, push them back to the town center. But we're so close, so close to breaking through. My Morgul's Legion has 63 kills. They've lost uh, a, a chunk of men, but not a ton, not a huge amount. And here we go. This is huge. But look at this. The rain on my parade. Fountain Guard are maneuvering around, and they're going to reinforce this line because they see that the Gondor swords are breaking. So again, Gondor doing a great job of maintaining this line, keeping it intact. We've got Archer Fire just spraying down. Let's see, who is this? Where is this? Where is it? Oh, he's got these Athelian. Yes, Athelian Rangers. They already have oh, 116. Watch this. Every volley. Ready? Here comes a volley. Or that, or they're going to hold fire. Of course, they're going to hold fire once I look at them. I just wanted to see their kills like spike up every volley because they are so good. All right, so we've broken through. It looks like the Fountain Guard have uh, fallen back and reforming at this choke point. We are breaking the Gondor Spears on this side. And of course, in the center, the Fountain Guard with 451 kills. There's only 40 left of them, though. God, that's an insane amount of kills. one of my uh, allies units to break it was just an archer unit but it is uh, it is sad to see allied units break and we have broken through guys and we're about to flank around the pesky uh, fountain guard there we go ah oh, relief finally we've killed a unit of fountain guard we're about to kill him they're still going to put up an amazing fight. God. All right. The archer's firing again. Hold on. Are you firing or is it the other unit? I think it's the other unit. Ready? This unit has 214 kills. This is not Athelian Rangers, but every volley. Ready? Wait for it. Boom, boom. <laughs> they get about four or five kills every volley. That's so funny. Oh, they didn't get much there. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah, that's a lot of arrows. There it is. There it is. That's so cool to just see the kill count go up as they release arrows. Not really seeing them land. Let's see. Let's watch the arrows. Oh, I see. They're focusing their fire on one unit, and they are slaughtering this unit. They are absorbing a bunch of ammo, though, so that's good. Here comes some artillery trying to go after is this another oh my god we've got another fountain guard so they've fallen back we have oh, another fountain guard at this point i was thinking oh my god we might lose this battle and the funny thing is i was streaming this live if you want to watch the live version of this battle it's a little laggy but um you can see my expressions live 
I wasn't taking this battle too seriously because I was just enjoying the cinematics of it. So I was kind of purposely like, you know, uh, doing stuff that was kind of stupid. But now I'm like, all right, try, try hard mode. Uh, try hard mode because we need to kill these guys. We need to try to get in there and win the day. We're not losing this battle. And I've got my archers just opening fire at the fountain guard. Just trying to soften them up and get some kills. So hopefully we can. It looks like we did kill a couple of them. Send up, I sent up some Uruk uh, throngs. And now I've got some Mordegu's Legion pushing up as well. We've got 150 kills. Gondor reinforcing this line. out of men i mean i've got if we look i've got a couple units i basically have my general um unfortunately i lost one of my Morgul's legion in uh because of archers they just this is mostly them dead here because of archer fire uh let's see are these archers firing yes they are i'm actually firing at these guys with my archers but i like the fountain guard i'm not killing any of them all right, watch every volley. They shoot up a volley. They have 195 kills. Watch it land. 96, 98, 200. So they're getting like three or four kills per volley. There we go. Now they're starting to drop to my arrows. But I was like, man, is it even worth shooting at these guys? Because they're not dying. Now we've got everybody sending in everything they've got. Swan Knights, Fountain Guard. It's time. This is the epic last stand of Gondor and Karendros. by my ally. But man, the fountain guard are just chewing me up. I'm trying to get archers in strategic positions. I've sent up an archer unit to the walls here, but unfortunately they're not firing. Oh, this looks cool. A unit is running from the enemy. Oh, that looks awesome. Seeing the uh, the old fortress in the back there. Uh, but they're not firing. I don't know why. I guess they're out of range or something. But this is looking really, really bad. My units are breaking. My general is standing alone. He fights alone. It's the guards of teeth. And now my... Uh, ally sends in some orc pillagers. Uh, my allies general is also kind of riding around. He brought the uh, servants of the eye. It's a really good cab unit. I noticed that his fountain guard have turned his backs to me. So I was trying to open fire on him, but then he quickly runs back and uh, gets back to that front line. So whenever I see a really good unit turn their back to my archers, I always try to focus them down. Got my archers opening fire on the uh, Knights of the Silver Swan. They've only lost two men. Two. That's it. Wow. Finally, we're breaking a unit, but it's just archers. The balance of power still is in our favor, but I'm not feeling great about this. I mean, I just have one unit of infantry. As soon as my general dies, my archers are fair game. 
A nice little charge by my allies general. And I just wanted to take a second and look at the amount of dead over here. Look at this. Oh. This was such a bloodbath. Such a bloodbath. So my general is losing this battle, but he's putting up a good fight. I'm now desperate, and even though my archers still have ammo, I'm sending some of them in because I need to help my general. He stands alone. There we go. These guys are breaking. I desperately tried to get these archers off the walls because they weren't doing anything, and only two of them came off the wall. So I don't know what's going on there. We do break a swordsman unit. That is very promising. Uh, I see an, an opportunity to kind of flank around the fountain guard. And I think my ally sees it too. So he's going to shift his uh, general around. Oh, he's just going to charge in. Just going in. Oh my god, he just wrecked his own ally's unit. I'm pretty sure he killed a couple of them with that charge. I think in Attila, if you rear charge a unit, it can uh, kill some, some, you know, friendlies. I love these swan knights too, they look awesome. Now my archers are having to fight. We've killed their general. My general's still in it, guys. 173, but those are quality kills against Fountain Guard. I think it was the Swan Knight's general that we killed. My general is on the verge of death, though. Fountain Guard are eight kills shy of 500 kills. And with that, guys, we were just barely able to squeeze by a victory as all their units are starting to break. And that will conclude the Siege of Carandros. An absolute bloody and devastating siege for both armies. Let's end the replay and look at the results here so this was a lot of fun again this was during a live stream big shout out to happy meal zigs uh bob toad and maxi monster 12 uh they got an insane amount of kills with their fountain guard let's see where are their fountain guard i want to see this 248 with his general um this was the one fountain guard who didn't do amazingly well 248 is really good uh but i think let's oh, see 349 with his axes that's really awesome so I think it was, yeah, 489, 507 kills. Oof, that is disgusting. Well, guys, that's going to conclude it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to lay siege to the like button. And I will see you guys next time on the battlefield.